Wake up! Uh, Wake up! Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Ah! I, God, my leg is jammed. It's jammed in here. Here, let me help. Ah! Uh, it's uh, broken. It's broken. Got stuck under the bloody rudder pedal. Anything I can do? Ah, uh, uh, see if there's a first aid kit around, would you? It should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. Sounds painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Ah, it's not gonna last forever, though. Ah. Where are we? Hopefully not out of range of the radio masts. Ah. Mayday, mayday, this is Alpha Romeo Lima. I crashed south of Deception. Coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday, do you read? Flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. Not in this weather either. Yeah, that too. At least I saved the plane. Hey, 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 see that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts, Deception Point. That should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Yeah, I think I can see it. So, can you make it? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. Well, you'd rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death. Uh, we, we, we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your very godmother's not going to magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? How far away do you think it is? It could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. Good man. 
man. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I uh, keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Uh, flares. You keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour to help you get your bearings. Hey! Hey, you hear? I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. I'll be back as soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's 10 below zero. Wish me luck. Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. That's my fault. There's too many books. Oh, that's what's in here. Oh. Well, uh, there you go. Teamwork. Not a problem at all. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're marking all of that. I'm not trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. You should. Well, perhaps not complain, but give them a word limit at least. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Long journey? Yes, all the way from Edinburgh. Where are you headed? Cambridge. And you are too, I can see that. Uh, is it the shoes? No. I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns personally. I beg your pardon. 
Your book. It fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Formulation of complex cloud patterns. G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. You've... you've read it? <laughs> I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Uh, how long have you been here? It'll be my second year. Dr. Hamilton. Clara McCarrick. How do you do? Doctor. Oh, you're a bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry, it's just a just a telegram. Oh, you're a your telegram, it's sorry. Nothing. It's nothing, just something from my professor. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? It's completely fine, really. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your sounds just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work. <laughs> like we're still at school. <laughs> I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future. Deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. <clears throat> uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? Uh, um, three. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure they're a lucky bunch. Well, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? So, do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice.
You can leave if you like. It's over. Or do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, yes? Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you're too bad. Huh. Well, um, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. You really were listening. It's quite poetic, I thought. I can get a bit carried away sometimes. But in, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my beautiful subject, like you. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Sounds like a passionate bunch. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll let you be the star. Well, thank you. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers.
time, even in the 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something? Please. Something you wanted to let me know. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter! Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, sorry. Ah, good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. You got my note, I presume? Note? The telegram. Well, I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? It's still very much work in progress. <clears throat> and most of them are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. You'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What is it this time? Oh. More of them today, I see, getting ready for another march, I suppose. I can't quite believe how many women are out there. The more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for academic work, I fear. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. Wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. To me? That's right. Sit down. What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch breeding ground for communists. I need to show we're serious about what we do and what I need from you 
is something publishable. Absolutely. That's, that's what I intend to write. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. I will. Of, of course I will. It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Completely. I'll do my best. It will be a first-rate piece of work. Thank you. I look forward to seeing it. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. That's all. Oh, uh... One more thing. The atmosphere here, things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed it's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. Of course I do. Then you'll be as shocked as I am. A Soviet spy ring. Recruited right here in Cambridge. Passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang for things like that. Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. Absolutely. You can trust me. Glad to hear it. I'll see myself out. You carry on. Peter here. Peter. Peter, thank God you made it. Are you there? Is there a doctor? Can someone come and pick me up? I could, but there's no doctor here. No doctor? Who's there then? Uh, well, there's, there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Uh, that's impossible. They have, to, they have to have someone stationed here all year round. Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they, it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. I'll take them a vehicle and hit it out. Well, maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been fight? What, maybe? Or, or maybe there was an emergency, someone got sick or something like that. Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can, you hear me? Okay, I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. No, no, don't come back, Peter. It took you two hours to get there. You come back here and then where are we? Back to square one. Peter, listen carefully. I don't know for sure, but it's possible that the base you were in might have been attacked. 
Attacked? Th this is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets. Soviets? Here? The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you can kill a dozen men down here and no one will know about it. Floyd, you're making me nervous. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. Well, then I'll come back and we'll make another plan. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. They'd have to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. You've got to move on. Get out of there, quickly! All right, I, I, I can do it, but where the hell would I go? You're in the radio hut, right? Anything in there which could help tell where we are? There's a map here. A map? Great. Well, what's on it? I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything north of there? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? and they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry. The Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. You mentioned there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? Uh, got them. Uh, got them. Well, that's something. Let's hope they fill the tank up. Can you see a route on the map? Any landmarks to follow? Up ahead, there's, there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. That sounds like that's your first destination. Peter, can you see anything you can use as a weapon? I've got my hands. That's all. Well, don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. Just make sure you send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof, my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Thanks for picking me up like that. I'm absolutely soaked. Am 
must have looked a terrible seat. Did you miss the bus? I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Sorry, I think I'm setting on something. Oh, sorry, it's your peepers. Oh, but I haven't got them all wet. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. So, this is your grand tome about the clouds. Would you, would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand them. Excuse me? I'm sorry, my goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. What are you talking about? Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Crosswise. I th thought you'd morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> t take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I can see you're an excellent note taker. Well, the rest is probably classified. <laughs> Top secret. Top secret? Like yours is too, I've heard. Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. But things are going well, aren't they? You'll find your subject starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. My friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you're anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks. Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put you safe down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. You need a big bus when you can have a car like this. Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about foot one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was... Don't mention it. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it won't happen again. today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era.